repercussions of this week's severe flooding in southern China in the wake of Typhoon Utah said government and emergency services failed to respond to their distress calls after their district was engulfed by floodwaters up to 3 meters, nearly 10 feet, deep. The water level has risen to 2, 3 meters, said one resident of Chendian Township in Guangdong's coastal city of Shantou. Everything is underwater now, not a single building is left. We have made a lot of phone calls, but the town mayor isn't picking up his phone, nor the deputy town mayor surnamed Chen, nor the Chendian Township official, surnamed Lin, said the resident, who gave only his surname, Li. We can't get through on the emergency helpline, he said. We got through to emergency services on 110, but no one came. Our village has been drowned, but the government hasn't sent any boats, Lee said. Rescue teams dispatched. An employee who answered the phone at the Guangdong Provincial Disaster Helpline said rescue work was underway in the district that administers Chendian. That includes Cheonan and Cheoyang, districts of Shantou, the employee said. The local government has already dispatched rescue teams and inflatable craft to the scene. Meanwhile, Residents of Simapu Township, also in Cheonan District, told RFA that residents there were also in desperate need of help. No one has sent us any food or water so far, one resident who declined to be named said in an interview on Monday. The officials came, on Sunday, with a video camera to take a look, he said. Then they told us to swim out and buy a case of instant noodles to bring back with us. Then they left. Some more people, who came on Monday, also just took a look and then left, he added. Water, medical supplies needed. A Shantau resident surnamed K who volunteered for the relief effort on Monday said he hadn't seen much sign of government involvement, either. I don't know if higher levels ordered them to come, or if they came, or what, he said. We are just relying on ourselves to help ourselves. Right now, we lack water and dried grain, as well as medical supplies, Kay said. Meanwhile, a third flood victim from Chendian Township said there weren't enough people helping out with the rescue effort. My sister is trapped inside, a factory, and they haven't been rescued yet, she said. The rescue teams are here, but there are many places affected, so they haven't been able to rescue everyone. We are sending out information on microblogs, she added. Rising death toll. The death toll from devastating floods at opposite ends of China following torrential rains and the aftermath of a typhoon rose to more than 130, official media said on Tuesday. China's Ministry of Civil Affairs said at least 49 people had died in Hunan, central China, and in the southern provinces of Guangdong and Guangxi, where flooding has destroyed homes and sent rivers of mud flowing into city streets. In Guangdong alone, 28 people have been confirmed dead and 10 missing, ministry figures showed on Tuesday. Transport links in the thousands stranded. Photos also show desperate residents scrambling to escape the floods by means of makeshift rafts and paddling pools, while others climbed trees or clung to other structures to avoid being swept away. Some 80,000 passengers were left stranded at the hugely busy Guangzhou railway station after all trains were suspended due to rain and landslides at the weekend. Services began to resume on Monday, reports said. According to the official news agency Xinhua, more than 3,000 People's Liberation Army troops have been mobilized across all three rescue operations. State media referred only to spreading rumors about the floods, however. Disaster response mechanisms are in all parts of China and they are in operation, the Global Times, a paper with close links to the ruling Communist Party, said in an editorial on Tuesday. But public satisfaction is not high enough, criticism is rising everywhere, and many rumors surrounding the flood are also spreading online, the paper said.